TSA says it's noticing a problem with air passengers and pests, pets, and it's become a big enough problem for them that they had to have a demonstration today at the Buffalo Airport. And you might not believe it yourself until you hear from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. The fact that the TSA felt the need to hold a demonstration like this is probably half the story in and of itself. We indeed have seen, unfortunately, an uptick in the number of people who are accidentally leave their pets in the carrying case and throw them through the x-ray machine. One veteran TSA screener says it's partly due to these modern pet carriers, a far cry in appearance from the bulky fiberglass ones with a cage on one side, which once screamed, there's an animal in here because they're making them more like a duffel bag for privacy issues for the pet, for comforting. And if the passenger fails to say something, down the conveyor it goes, where even if it gets x-rayed, there's really no harm done, except maybe to those doing the screening. It's uncomfortable to see an animal on the, the x-ray screen when it pops up. The proper way to do this is to tell the screener you have a pet, and then they'll let you carry it through with you. And if the pet is skittish and you're worried it might bolt if removed from the carrier, you can ask for a screening in a separate room, from which there is no escape. The cat's not going to get hurt, the passenger's not going to get hurt, we're not going to get hurt or bit, and we're not going to have a cat running around the checkpoint. Dogs and cats are one thing. You ever see anything really crazy go through here? Through the, I mean, we see birds, fish, uh, reptiles. I know a few months ago at Tampa, somebody showed up with a boa constrictor in a carry-on bag, claiming it was their therapy uh, boa constrictor. Uh, we saw that on the x-ray. It was denied boarding. And we should note that no pets or animals were harmed during the making of this TSA demonstration. On your side at the airport, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.